This is just a quick warning to tell people that this game flickers from start to finish. I have no idea why, but it does indeed flicker. And anyone that suffers from photosensitive epilepsy or any form of epilepsy really shouldn't watch this video because it's <laughs> it flickers like a crazy fool from start to finish. So if you do suffer from that, I would not suggest getting this game until it's been updated and sorted out. Or you could just read a full review in the website link in the description box below. But either way, you've been warned and from now on, it will be flickering. Hello VR shoppers. Today we're going to be taking a look at Lego Brickheads Builder VR available on the Google Daydream platform. Happy birthday Brickheads. All my life. It's like a little playroom with Lego bedding. Cool. I have no idea why this is flickering like a crazy thing. But I can't seem to make it so let's try recentering. No, that didn't work. Oh well, let's get into it. Ooh, it's pretty. <laughs> oh what we got? Help the brickheads unlock all the characters and objects in the book. Okay. Well, what do I do? Just click on number one. What are all these things? So hang on. Click on settings, clear data, legal information, and the version number. Uh, what's that? Ah, it's a penguin plus bricks, plus bricks. I think it's like build it or something. Uh, question mark. Oh, you select that. Uh, and then you can play with it maybe. Yeah, if you built that, you could play with it. Okay, let's go back. Let's go into this one then. Number one, I suppose. It's the best place to start. There's nothing else around. Let's go. Uh, do I want to be a boy Lego or a girl Lego? I'll be a boy Lego. <laughs> I can say the freely is pretty good on that. Uh, what, what do, yeah, what am I doing, my friend? Clicking on this. Right, him plus her plus some flowers. So we need some flowers. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Do I need to build? I need to build things, do I? Let's build a penguin. I'm building a penguin. I don't know why I'm building a penguin, but I am building a penguin. Okay, all oh right, it's teaching me. So, uh, it's this bit first. Oh, hang on. How do I... Well, how do you... Uh... Well, you can't... I can't move in. How can I write? Um, can I rotate? I can rotate it. Okay. Little bit fiddly to get this done, but uh, we'll carry on. Right, that goes there. And this goes there. Oh, no. <laughs> it's fiddly because you have to hold it down and enable to interact with it. Oh, how does that work out? Uh, how does how does that work out? It's like he's gone up there, but so suddenly I've got. Why have I suddenly got two feet? Um, have I? I mean, have I missed something? <laughs> I don't know what I've missed out there. I've missed out on something. Right, that goes there, that goes there. That doesn't make much sense, we'll, uh, we'll carry on with it. Oh, so difficult to turn it. There. And this flickering is annoying as well. There we go. So, <laughs> I've got that, but that doesn't seem to make sense with what He's got. I really don't get that at all. But maybe that, maybe that on top. Maybe it's right. What's that bit? What's this bit? Is that two bits? 
I just don't know. Right, I'm gonna risk it and uh, go there. Can I turn? I can turn it, right. So maybe that'll help and it'll look a bit better. Uh, there. And uh, there. Uh, there we go. I still, he's got like that though, isn't he? Uh, I don't, oh, are oh, you get? Don't turn. Uh, an, another two, another two. Is that the other two? That's the other two. Turn, turn, turn. <laughs> he definitely haven't got this right at all. Um, the white bits go there. There we go. And the white bits go there. Uh, and the black bit, all right, his eyeballs. Come on. Ah. The problem is, like I say, you got to hold it down in order to put it on. There we go, there we go. And to rotate it, which is quite annoying. So we got that, we got that. I want those on top of there. There's two eyeballs on top of there. Uh, that goes there. <laughs> rotate it, rotate it, come on. Rotate it around, rotate it around. You get there. Is that it? Was that it? I think that was it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, uh, oh, there, there. Rotate it, rotate it. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, get. Uh, the controls are just too fiddly. I'm, at the end of the day, <laughs> At the end of the day, I'm an adult, and I can imagine kids would get a little bit frustrated with this. Ah, oh, get very frustrated indeed. There we go. Oh, come on! I don't want to put his beak on until I got like I got it perfect. Oh, you fucker! Absolute. Come on. <laughs> right. Uh, rotate there. Oh, no, just a little bit. Is that it? That's it, isn't it? Yeah. That's it. So can I can I pick him up now? Do, do I, I mean, what have I done? I did it. And there you go. So I made the penguin so we can make a xylophone. So if I go back and I go here, I need him and her. And we need, oh, <laughs> there's like, a, like more of them. That's what we need. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what is going on? All oh, right, right. We press him. Oh, oh God! It just zaps him. Oh, that's really sad. So you press the button and it zaps him. <laughs> and what, and what, do, what do they want? They want that. Ah, oh, they made flowers. What about this? Do you want that? Oh. He wants that. Here, make magic. There you go. You're you going to make some magic out of that? I think he is. I think he is. He's doing 
السماء النام ياي هذه ما يتم ماتشك وش ذا نو اسم ايماي دا So what's that? Like I put her on there? Come here, love. Sorry. Well, <laughs> for some reason, the game just absolutely crashed it. It's clear that it's got a few issues, <laughs> and that's why it's buried deep in the in the Play Store sort of algorithm. But I gotta say, I kind of liked it, and it went really well with the. Google Daydream Motion Controller. I think the controls are just a little bit too fiddly. It should be that you click on it and then you can rotate it. Like you don't have to hold down the button to be to be holding it. That's what I reckon anyway. But you know, I think the Daydream Controller is perfect for that sort of Lego building. I'd like to see it taken a bit further. I'd like to see it bloody fixed first. <laughs> so that would be a good start. Anyway, please do visit the website link in the description box below for a full review and download links. And please do click that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Whether you give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, please do leave a comment in the box below as your feedback is essential in helping this channel grow. As always, thanks for watching. And if you like Lego, I suggest that you play with it in real life rather than this, at least until it's fixed anyway.